All right, hey there folks, this is Scott, the founder of SalonChairsDirect.com. I'm at the Aveda Institute, Maine, which is a cosmetology school that I provide scissors and training to for students here. And one of the students, CJ, took and adapted to a swivel shear pretty quickly, and I thought it was very, very cool, and I just wanted her to take some time to kind of show um, either experienced or new students a little bit about, you know, the difference between a regular shear and a swivel shear. So where, tell us about yourself a little bit. Are you a na native, uh, native of Maine? Yeah, so Are, I live in Rockland. Okay. So I travel here every day. So. Rockland's a beautiful part on the coast, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And how far along are you in school? I am in phase three. I will be in my last phase in about three weeks. So. And what do you feel like you want to specialize in when you're when you're done with school? Everything. 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 Okay. I want to learn it all. So. Okay, cool. It's very good school. I love being here. Yeah. All right. So, just talk a little bit on your own. Like, I think you what you have now is just a regular standard. Oh, you have your yep, swivel have shears. Swivel okay. Shear, and then... Okay. So the blue pair is the standard issue kind of at the school. Five and a half. Uh, CJ's a lefty. Okay. Yeah, lefty. So I'm going to kind of get as close as I can while getting a good picture. Just talk a little bit about, you know, why you felt it was a better fit for you. A swivel's not for everybody. That's not what we're trying to accomplish here. But I let her try a pair, and she called me in a few days and said, hey, I'm in love. These things are really good for me. I find them doing a better cut. They're better for my hands. So I just wanted to try to get some time to let her explain that yeah. to you, to us. So Yeah, so I... I picked them up and I didn't even put them down. I never even used these. I <laughs> use these on my mannequins. I use these on my real clients. Um, just their ergonomics is so much different. Okay. And especially being like a left-hander, it's, I have to do everything backwards <laughs> and it sucks. It's really, really complicated sometimes. Lefties always get cheated. True. <laughs> this is so true. Um, so, like, as you can see, like, there's only, like, a certain way that I can move my thumb kind of thing, a certain way I can cut. And then I get these bad boys out. So that would be the standard. But yep. I can go along like this. I can just move so much more smoothly around. So one of the things when people grab a swivel shear is they feel like, they have to learn how to work it rather than learning how to just allow your wrist yep. to stay neutral and your thumb to rotate. How, why or was it such a natural yeah. transition for you? I think it's mostly just because I'm honestly like left-handed, <laughs> um, but it just it felt better for me to be able to adapt in different ways. So why don't you tr why don't you in the Aveda way, show us, you know, a cutting method maybe with the the standard one and a swivel one and just let us see the difference in the two. All right. So let's see here. Typically it would be like that. And you see how my wrist is. I do. Typically. We'll just go like that. Okay. So my wrist is really bent. He's a rock, rock star of the, of the hair industry, right? Oh, yeah. Right, so and then with the swivels. And all, uh, the mullets. mullets yeah. yeah, so yeah. many mullets. So that it's, would be the standard. The but now I can go like that. And your wrist is more neutral? Yeah, and it's so much more comfortable. So, and obviously hairdressers are prone to carpal tunnel. Correct. So these are just a lot better instead of... How about a point cut? I know, point like, cut. I it's one of the things I saw you doing, um, doing some finish work a few weeks ago with a, with a guest, so. Yeah, so point cutting, like, the standard ones, you can't move your thumb, so you'd be kind of like, kind of like that, but oh. with me, I can go in like that and move my thumb. So hold the scissor, the, um, if it wasn't traditionally a swivel, with your, th with your wrist bent. Hold on. <laughs> I gotta just pick them up. It's all right. See? Yep. It'd be like that. Yep, so a very, very, very significant bend in yeah, your wrist. You can see, yeah, definitely. My wrist is super bent. How are you guys doing? Super bent. Okay. 
super, super bad. And early in your career, it really doesn't affect you a whole lot until you get further along and you start oh, feeling yeah. fatigue and yeah. you start to shake your hand. And then yeah. grab the swivel and we'll look at the difference between yeah. that one. And I can like show you some stuff like up top too. Go for it. Definitely too low, but standard. Then I can switch it like that. See? Yep. There's not really super wet up top, but so like up top. I go like this with my swivels. Mm -hmm. You see how like neutral my wrist is. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Do you experience any pinching or bending? Because sometimes there is a little bit of an adjustment with a scissor like that. Feel like they're cutting correctly for you? It was natural. <laughs> as soon as I picked them up, like I said, never put them down. Like that. And then with the standard, I'd be kind of like up here because I can't really... Or like that, that was point cutting. Right. But with the standard, I can't move and put my shoulder, my elbow down. And although we're at a Veda Institute, they teach you a certain cutting technique, certain style. The more often your elbow is down and your wrist is neutral, is better off for fatigue, correct? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, for everybody. So maybe you can become a platform artist for um, my scissor someday. Listen, I'm it, down for anything. <laughs> <laughs> and um, CJ's also a customer of mine. Yes. Um, you know, bought these scissors from me. And, you know, it's one of those stories that I guess this is kind of the reason that I'm in the business. So really glad to um, get an education from you. And uh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome.